Lions fans, uh, we're here for another week of Locker Talk. Uh, I'm making my return this week to the senior side and uh, I'm going to ask the boys what they uh, think of me. So we've got a Locker Talk favourite, Jackson Payne. Good to have you back. And Dane, yeah, thank you. You just wait till I finish. <laughs> Thanks, Sammy. Right, we're talking about me this week, so this is highly awkward. I know, I know you love talking about me, so you should answer these really well. Uh, so we'll just kick it off with the first one. Who's the better beams? Don't like either, um, but if I had to go with one, I'd probably go with Clay. Why? Because he is a bit more caring, he's more consistently positive. Um, you struggle in those areas. <laughs> it's brutal. <laughs> probably, probably Clay at this stage. Um, just, just a kinder soul, you know, just a better boy. <laughs> just <laughs> I'm definitely going to have to say Clay. That. Um, I've played more footy with Clay, therefore he's a better beam. Makes sense. Well, yeah, it could make sense and good off sense. <laughs> <laughs> oh, probably you, mate. You've got um, three multi-million dollar houses. Um, you've got, got a wife, a kid on the way. Um, yeah, probably you, mate. Who would play me in a movie? You're looking at Zach Galifianakis. <laughs> <laughs> Zach Galifianakis. Who's that? Alan off the hangover. Why? Fat. <laughs> <laughs> um, just a bit sloppy. Um, yeah, and sort of I've heard similar things about his overall persona and uh, matching qualities. Would you be an action star or...? Um, Sam Skinner reckons I, in some pictures, you look like John Cena a little bit, but he's not in movies. He's in the WWE. I actually don't mind that. Oh, he's in a movie, yeah, isn't he? Yeah. Movie. I like train wrecking that. Yeah. I reckon you can play with a John Cena role. When my hair is freshly trimmed, shorter yeah. sides, yeah. I don't mind that. Oh, no, I don't know, like Tom Hardy or something, maybe. Uh, hmm. Don't mind that. Yeah, it's good. You should yeah. be happy with that. Thanks, mate. Happy. Which of my tats is your favourite? <laughs> oh, I love the flames. They just really suit your personality. You know, look at them. Have a look at them. They're, they're the ones I hate the most, actually. <laughs> I'm going to have to go the Aussie flag, I reckon. <laughs> Looks great there, just on the bicep. Yeah, there's a 16-year-old sort of decision. <laughs> Dane, you have it. <laughs> you have a tat, as you can see here, close up on the camera. It's the Hot Wheels flames. So, if those aren't familiar with the Hot Wheels industry, it's the Hot Wheels lead the way. <laughs> <laughs> Probably the new one. New one you got that's uh, yeah, it's covered up at the moment. Yeah, so yeah, don't mind. Can't show the people that. It's, if I wasn't an AFL player, what could I do? What would I be doing? Uh, well, you, you lasted in your plumbing apprenticeship about three weeks, so we'll rule that out. Um, you're a good concrete as labourer, so, um, and you also did a bit of groundskeeping, so you've got a few options there. Yeah, I used to. Uh, Sit on the tractor at the back of the Southport Sharks and have a snooze, yeah. Just sleep all day. <laughs> um, oh, mate, I don't know. You're pretty lucky. I think you're pretty lucky at the moment. I don't know what you'd be doing. Motivational speaker. Why? Because I think you just you have broad experience. You just said before I wasn't positive. Yeah, you don't have to be positive. You kind of do. You just have to be have these broad experiences that I think you've you've had to pass on to others and really pass on a knowledge of life that you've got. I mean, you're about to be a dad. You've understood the art of life, I think. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Thanks, mate. No worries. <laughs>